Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, career mode, hard mode, and... Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on. Nope. You're just gonna have to see the tech table later. Anyway, so this is the new... No. This is the new X06S. It's actually... I was gonna give it the uh, H for hopper, but it can go into orbit if it wants to, so I figured it does go into space, so S probably is better. But it's more like a hopper. Um, in the last video, we nearly lost uh, poor Jebediah, so this time I put the I put the science stuff inside of the girder to protect it from reentry heating. It also creates extra drag, so that instead of going nose first into the atmosphere, the weight of this thing is down here. When, once all this is drained out, the weight of it is down here. But because of the fact that it has two girders down here creating a lot of drag, one down here creating drag, it actually equals itself out to the point to where, theoretically speaking, we can get some body lift and actually be able to either guide this thing or stay in the atmosphere long enough to slow down in order to save the whole entire thing. That is the plan. Not sure if it's going to work, but we're definitely going to get some of that uh, pull science and I also was reading somewhere where you can get uh, cold water science and stuff of this nature I don't know if that was something that was added to the game or if that's a uh, part of parallax mod or whatever the case may be but I do know that there is a mod out there everybody's been screaming at me to get this mod called science X or X science I have not gotten it yet but I definitely will it does sound like a game changer it doesn't change anything uh, game mechanics wise it doesn't give you extra science or anything now it's just it's just basically it's just a checklist it's all it is all right in three, two, wait a minute. Oh, check your staging. Okay. And we're going to go like this for now. All right. In three, two, one. I like how it's almost like the surface of the moon. It's very, it's very almost, it's, it's hard to describe. It's like a mixture of loneliness, freedom, kind of alien. I mean, am I weird that if there was like a small colony and it was self-sufficient that I could live here easily? All right, we are going to try our best to land with the parachute's help, land the nose on the ground with the parachute's help by using the engine to tilt the ship just a little bit. Easy. No, no. No, no. There you go. Yep, and use it. There you go. Just use it. Come on down. Nice and soft. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, look at this. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. That's so cold and lonely. <laughs> oh man. This parallax mod is just freaking amazing. Alright. Time to do some ground science. Okay, so I know she's halfway around the world, which means that when I recover this, I'm only going to get half of half of what I spent for it. Because half of the fuel was the cost, and now that's gone, so whatever's left over, I'm going to get half of. So I'm probably going to get about three grand back from it, which means out of 8,600, I've only spent maybe roughly close to 6,000. 6, roughly close to 6,000. It's going to be 5,000 something, but roughly close. I don't know. I don't know. 
but we'll find out and let's see what happens. Okay, so parts recovered, it is 49% uh, value. So yeah, I got about almost 4,000 bucks back. Oh, yep, no, yeah, yeah, yep, that, that's, that's close. The craft only cost 8,600. I bring back about 3916, give or take, depending on how far away it is. So I'm only spending roughly a little less than $5,000 a mission. We could definitely do this since we do have over um, 140,000 Kerbal Bucks. We could definitely make several of these missions possible, which should unlock the survivability science node. So right now, this is our check. Trek, trek tree, trek. it sucks, but we're getting there. All right, so our next destination will be that cold water science or cold ocean science. So all I gotta do is stop a little bit before going to the South Pole. Here we go. Oh, we're kind of stuck upside down. That's not great, but... Uh, oh, did we hit something solid? Oh, so that's solid. That's weird. Okay, yeah, I can... Mm, so it's... It, I don't know. It's like a parallax has stuff that is solid and stuff that's not solid. It, it's sort of hidden behind whatever. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so I fucked up. That's actually not cold water. That that is that is that that is ground. That yep. I mistaken. I am mistaken. Yep. Whoopsies. Oh, we got a teeny bit of little science of it. Just a deed. Look at that. there but oh my gosh please don't let go whatever you do do not let go oh please parachute please don't let go please parachute please don't let go can i get any science out of this please parachute just keep it just keep it just keep it no okay can I just keep it just keep it no 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 oh just a little bit here just keep it lock temperature okay no just keep it i don't know what's going on please no 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 yeah, yeah just keep it just keep oh. okay well he's definitely need to get a uh, uh, helicopter rescue because you know damn
All right, I'm going to have to call it right here. We're at 13.2 science. We've got like two more biomes left, and we only need each each biome looks like it gives us about 2.0 science. So if we can get the last two biomes and a little bit of the tundra, then we can open up survivability, which will give us a whole new scientific instrument. And then we can just kind of repeat the process and go over Kerbin near our area and be able to get a whole lot of science and hopefully be able to unlock basic science. I don't see that happening even with even with an extra science part because of the simple fact that we've kind of already fished the lake out so at this point we're kind of going for scraps but the big takeaway from this is that survivability will give us side mounted parachutes drogue chutes to operate in high speeds and high altitudes and of course the coveted service bay we can cram everything in there with these three parts well four if you can yeah with that one yeah we can do some missions and hopefully get a little bit more money so that eventually we can unlock basic science I don't know what I was thinking. Ah, I wasn't thinking. That's the problem. I wasn't thinking at all. So that extra, I don't know how much, I think this was 20 science. That that 20 science plus 45, we would have, ah, oh man, it would have been a lot easier. But now we got to kind of backpedal. Okay, well, that's it for now. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you, if you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. We also have that bell notification doohickey that maybe or maybe not, I don't know, works. But anyway, love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.